This is Roger with Wheel Kinetics in Tucson, Arizona. We're selling this truck. It is a 2017 Ford F-150 Crew Cab short bed. Um, it is a 5 liter V8. It's four wheel drive and sex LT, which is cloth. Has 71,571 actual miles. Um, it was a uh, uh, dealer trade-in lease return that we purchased. Um, beautiful truck uh, brought it to Tucson from Phoenix and this is what our inspection looks like beautiful truck extremely well maintained I'll show you the Carfax in a second uh, we gave it a new detail brand new tires discount tires a couple days ago tire monitor light is on we have a new BCM order to fix this it just didn't come in time before the detail was done um, but that'll be handled um, Anyway, uh, I'm gonna walk around this truck. I'll show you anything I see cosmetically. There's very few little things here. Cosmetically, uh, it's a pretty truck. Not much to report here, really. When you see the Carfax, you're gonna see how well-maintained it was. Uh, but it's got a couple little rock chips. I think I saw a little ding right here on the hood. I suppose if you got a touch-up pen out, and spent five minutes on it you'd probably be done repairing it but uh, it's my job to make sure that you know what you're buying and to point out even the insignificant small stuff that way uh, there's no drama uh, videos in our ad uh, our ad itself is designed to make sure that there's no drama we have plenty of people who will be fine with whatever's wrong with our vehicle that we're selling at the time um, as long as we represent it correctly uh, the trick is here is to make sure that uh, everything that we know about the truck is disclosed so that we get the right person in it it's not hard to sell it's just making sure the right person buys it all right um, so that's what we do if there's something wrong we're gonna tell you Backup camera there. Boy, whoever had this thing before did not uh, did not use it as a truck very often. Bedsides look great. A couple little rock chips here and here. I think I saw a little chip here. Obviously, touch-up paint would clear that up in a hurry. All right, let me fire this guy up. 71,687 miles. All right. Bump, bump. All right. There's your Kelly Blue Book for the truck. 2017 F-150 with a six, six and a half foot short bed, 71,571 miles. Typical listing price would be 29,686 with a range of basically 26 to 31,8. Um, here is the Carfax. Basically, Carfax blends the Carfax and the history together. They come up with a retail value of this truck of 28,650, which seems about right. There's the VIN, five liter, uh, four by four, no accidents, no damage, 25 service records, 21,571 miles within the last reading, which is now. Now the glare here. Ah. Look at these services, beautiful services. This thing did not miss the date at the service shop that's for sure bum, 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 bum. looks like the last service was a Larry Miller in Sandy Utah and then it was sold to us all right here's the title it's an Arkansas title there's the VIN it's a clear title issued to them 1227 of 19 sold to wheel kinetics with 71,574 on 122 of 20.
Ford Speedway. All right. I don't think new car dealers want this thing sitting on their property competing with the uh, brand new trucks that's be about half the price and uh, basically the same truck. So they can't have this thing sitting around the used car lot. There's the Ford stamps, you know, the Fender's original. Ford stickers up here. So you know that that's the original hood. And a Ford stamp right there. So you know this is a Fender. So you see all these original parts up front, you know it hasn't been wrecked. And there's your uh, famous five liter uh, V8 Ford motor. All right, window down, up. This seat looks like nobody's ever been in it. Probably no one ever has. This probably looks like a workman, worker uh, foreman's truck or something. That's what it appears to be got sink right here there's your USB port there oh wait you got manual but oh, look at the manual still in the wrapper oh, there you go wrapper and there's a CD in there some sort of trailer plugs I think this thing probably just drove up and down the road looking at employees work Doesn't look like it saw too many rough days, that's for sure. I don't see any rust down there, nothing. The best place to look for that, we will look in a second, is the, uh, there's some power plugs, right? Let's see, what's this guy? Just a cigarette plug. Um, best place to look for any issues of rust is always on the driver's lower, lower door and door jam because that's the one that gets in and out of and collects the most snow if there's an issue and it's almost always there this thing's clean man this is super clean so yeah i see nothing down there and i see nothing there there's your stickers where they belong window window let's see window I'm trying to do this one-handed here window let's see mirror out in up and down other side out in up and down right out there all right what else we got do, 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 do. Door locks. Okay. Let's see. The seat looks like it's in good shape. A little bit of a wear down in the uh, seat cushion here. From I would say the guy before that generally tells you to use over 200 pounds <laughs> getting in and out of the car. When you got a lightweight person, that doesn't happen. this seatbelt on let me tilt the wheel down a little bit here here we go all right radio steering controls for the volume change the station Radio works fine. Let's see. Let's get some air going here. Turn the air on. Go like this. Let's see. Bum, bum, bum. There we go. Turn down the air conditioning. It's cold right now, so I'm not going to enjoy this for long. But yeah, that's definitely cold. Turn that fan down. Turn the heat back up. Let's see, you got a couple more power plugs here. Obviously you got DVD or CD player here, not DVD, CD player. You got trailer backup on this vehicle. Boom, see it says add trailer, pro trailer backup assist, off and on. Tow haul, see the little light here, tow on and off. 
And that's the sports setting, sports setting right here. Okay, put it in neutral. I'm gonna go to Fort Low. Put this guy in my yard here real quick. All right, so now we're in for low. And I'm gonna go drive. I just want him to drive by me here. And reverse. All right, there's your backup camera there, right? All right. Neutral. Now we're going to go to four high. Shift in progress. Advanced track will come back on. And we go to drive. Let's get out the gate before it closes. And reverse in four high. Oh, all right. There's your backup camera in reverse. Neutral. Go to two wheel drive. Shift in progress. Bum, bum, bum. All righty then. Let's, did I say tire monitors, by the way? I meant parking sensors is what the, we're waiting for, for the BCM, I'm sorry. Like, I'm looking for the tire monitor light, it's not there. It's the uh, parking sensors that uh, need the BCM. Um, buh, 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 buh. Wow, listen, I, th by the way, our road is horrific here. All right, and there's no rattling. Um, basically, we're four wheeling right now, because it's Tucson has horrible roads because it's run by terrible politicians and uh, you can Google which party's in charge, but you probably figured it out. Um, it's the only town, major city in Tucson run by them. And that's why it's like this. Um, anyway, uh, if you come to Tucson and drive it home, you're gonna pay the following. You'll pay tax, uh, which is your state tax rate, whatever that is, plus our city of 2.7% and a $250 dock fee. That's what you'll pay if you come to pick it up. If you pay by wire and ship out of state, all you're gonna pay is agreed upon price. Um, once we receive full payment by wire, we'll fill out the title with your name or your company's name and address, uh, sign it off to you, scan it in your online file, and mail it to you. We even scan in the envelope we mail it in. You will have the vehicle shipped to you. By the time it shows up, you already have the title wait in the mail. Uh, once it shows up by your shipper, you'll just uh, take the title you already have in the truck and go get plates. It's very simple. If you need help with shipping, ask us at the beginning of this process. Joey is in charge of shipping for us. He brings our vehicles in. He helps our customers get them out. Um, you can do it all yourself. Uh, he can give you advice on how to do it, or he can do it for you, okay? He can tell you if you're getting ripped off or you're walking into a landmine field or something, uh, whatever you need. Deposit. Deposit is $500. Once we have a deposit, we have a deal. Until then, it will stay for sale. Um, so make sure you get your deposit in. We are not in the habit of overpricing vehicles. We don't have room for it, and we're not billionaires. We have to move these things. So make a fair offer. We will sell it to you, um, and you'll get exactly what we're uh, advertising, okay? Uh, last part of every video, I say the same thing. If you watch any video over the last 13 years, last two or three minutes, I'll say this. We don't have salesmen. We don't have a bottle of water with our name on it. We don't have a lounge to hang out in. We don't have a fancy zip code. You just saw it. Um, all that stuff's about a mile east of us at the auto mall. Um, you're, they're definitely making you pay for their beautiful uh, zip code for attendance and lattes and lounges and bottled water with their name on it and salesmen. They're also charging you for future repairs because they know if something breaks on this truck and you buy it from them, you're going to want it fixed. So they charge you more money for the truck than we would because we aren't fixing your truck. Okay, there's a give and take here. We give you tons of information, the Kelly, the Carfax, the title, everything we know about it, the video, a bunch of HD pictures, um, full disclosure, full transparency in exchange for you being the owner on day one. So if you were to buy this vehicle and you got it and the day you got it, came off the shipping truck and something didn't work, you're gonna be fixing it, okay? We are not Nostradamus. We do not know when something's gonna break, but we do know that the way we keep the prices down is not is by not charging you for repairs before you buy it. So, this truck is beautiful. Literally, beautiful truck. A um, few little chips and dings that are so minor that 15 minutes and uh, $9 tube of touch-up paint would deal with it. But, you know, you never know. I mean, it could break. I mean, it, who knows what could happen. That door lock actuator could go out that window lock motor could say window motor could say goodbye tomorrow who knows if it does you're fixing it right now you know everything that we know about it okay 
Um, anyway, I love this truck. I get in it and drive it to Maine and tow with it and do whatever right now. Uh, I think that's about it. Thank you.